Hi there. Hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Just a quick one today. Uh, I've been working with Engine Crane the last couple of days and I've been looking at ways of getting the data from automation uh, in a more refined way. At the moment, it's, um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. It has to grab data from multiple different sources. It gets it from the, the save game file and the BeamNG mod. Kind of has to create a mish mash of those two sources of data and then you get your engine. Um, so I've been looking into uh, exporters for automation. So as um, if you've used the tool at all, you'll know that the BeamNG exporter uh, is needed um, and then it gets some data from there. I had a little look on the uh, Discord server for the automation game uh, and it's pretty active on there and all the devs are there and uh, one of them pointed me in the direction of a CSV exporter that they'd written um, and I started having a little look at it and playing around with it and it was super useful, it kind of explained uh, how you would go about writing your own custom exporter if you wanted to grab the data yourself. Um, so I've used that as a basis uh, and this weekend uh, spent a little bit of time playing around with it and I've created a, a custom exporter uh, for dumping all of the card data into JSON format. So in case there is anyone else out there who is as nerdy as I am and uh, enjoys messing around with the data and, and seeing what is available. I've made this into a, uh, a GitHub project, uh, which is available for anyone to uh, to come and have a little mess around with. So here I'll just go through uh, how you would download it and use it. Um, so if anyone would like to have a little play, yeah, you're very welcome to. So first things first, uh, I've created a GitHub project page for it. Um, so I'll leave the link to this in the description. Uh, so automation JSON exporter. I, uh, the files that are required to actually run the exporter I've created as a release. So on the project homepage, if you come over to the right hand side, the releases page. And if I make future releases, it will always be the top one, which is the most recent. So we're going to want to pick the top one in the entry here. So the JSON exporter 7-zip file. Click that. Should download it for you. Come over to our downloads folder and we can cut this and we're going to want to put it into the export plugins folder uh, which will be inside the automation game data um, that gets installed when you install it from Steam. Um, so I'll leave the location or at least the default location in the description. Um, the, wherever you store your Steam library will be um, where automation data gets installed. Um, so the, the first part of it may differ if you set up a custom library, but everything after that will be the same. So this folder path down to here, and you'll know you're in the right one because there will be the existing automation uh, BeamNG exporter files. So once it's in there, just right click it and extract them here. And all you're wanting are these two DLL files, the JSON exporter x64 and x86. Once they're in there, that's all we need to do. They'll get picked up automatically by the game. Uh, so let's go and have a little look at what that'll look like. So we're going to come into automation, uh, go over to the car designer, pick the car that you want the data from and then come down to the export car button at the bottom. Uh, and in the top right, you'll see uh, the regular BeamNG drive plugin selected. Now that we've got the DLLs in the export plugin directory, that will get picked up and allow us to select our JSON exporter. So click that in the list there. Uh, you can also optionally include the metadata from the uh, Lua table data, um, if you're familiar with Lua and the way that the custom exporters work in BeamNG, that will mean something to you. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Um, so for this, I'll just tick that and then hit export car. And that's all done. So in the folder we opened a second ago, uh, there'll be two files of interest, uh, one data.json and one metadata.json. This one will only come out if you ticked that metadata box. Um, and the one that's most interesting for most people will be the data.json. So if you open this in, I'd recommend Notepad++. I've used this for all sorts of things. It's quite handy. Um, 
it will all come out in a JSON format. So you can have a, a look through all of the data that automation creates for whatever car it is that you've selected. So you see all this kind of stuff down here. Uh, I've not really been through it all myself yet, uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's interesting to see just how much stuff is calculated and how much stuff is stored. And it's, uh, yeah, looking forward to having a little play around in here and seeing what I can find. Uh, in the metadata file, in case you're interested, we can open this up as well. Uh, this is a much smaller file in general, uh, but it just shows you uh, a list of functions that will exist on certain tables. If you're familiar with Lua, that will mean something to you. Um, I only learned Lua this weekend, so I'm still getting to grips with exactly what I can do um, with these structures. But yeah, that is also available to you. So there we have it, a custom JSON exporter. Uh, if there's something that interests you, consider liking the video. Uh, if you like stuff like this, consider subscribing. And uh, otherwise, have a good day.